you mentioned your GA days, and I know who you GA'd for uh-huh. and who was playing at the time. My yeah. favorite quarterback, the guy that made me yeah. fall in love with the game, Johnny yeah. Manziel. Yeah. <laughs> and talk about just like a trailblazer and just – there are so many things you could say about him. Mine's all good stuff. I love that guy. Yeah. And yeah, we, um, we got just, a podcast about Johnny. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to know what um, your experience was like with him and just being around a, a quarterback that was a literal celebrity having Drake songs wrapped about him. And uh, you said it was with Kingsbury. So was that his Heisman year? Heisman year. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you got to see the full thing. Yeah, this is kind of funny. He had a uh, – been through a lot with Johnny. Um, but he had a podcast. Um, I think it's Ball Don't Lie. With Mike. It's my favorite. Mike. Yeah. And uh, and I, I didn't know he had had a podcast going. And I had a uh, I had a buddy of mine who uh, was an Aggie and sent it to me. And he was talking about me on the podcast like <laughs> how – how if if I didn't have if I didn't have Riley Dodge, I guess I would have never make it made it, made it because like I literally I'd have to like it was like halfway through the season and like Cliff brought me in like I'd wake up at four, like four a.m. with Cliff and and work out with Cliff and just because like I didn't want to I didn't want to wake up at four a.m. to work out but I was just like I got to be around this guy mm-hmm. I got I got if he's up I'm I got to be up I I wasn't married I wasn't tied to anything so. So we're working out one day and say, Hey, I need you on Friday mornings. You got to, you need, I need you to drive to Johnny's house. I need you to pick him up. Right. And then you just drop him off class. And so, you know, we did that for about eight straight weeks and it was, it was, uh, it was hell on wheels getting him out of that house. But, uh, he, uh, yeah, I have some great stories about, him. but I would say this, I love the dude. Um, what a competitor, mm-hmm. um, you know, I hate to see kind of the different struggles that he has had and and stuff like that. And, and he'll be the first one to tell you just through our conversations, um, some self-inflicted. And but he's uh, I think he's in a place where he's very happy now. But, um, man, a competitor prepare the right way. I think that's probably a misconception. Hmm. Um, amazing practice player, amazing practice player. Uh, but I think that goes back to competitive um just love playing and was you know if we're gonna be out here let's, let's be successful in what we do um and just what a freak of nature i yeah. mean i mean just nasty mm. <laughs> just nasty i mean the stuff that y'all would see on saturdays and but the stuff that we see at practice i'm like it's just like some disgusting yeah. stuff and i'll know this is my one of my i have some great stories one of my favorite stories we're playing we're at old miss and uh we're down Late in the game, we're struggling a little bit. We ended up coming back and winning, and uh, crazy ball game in, at Ole Miss in Oxford. And uh, it's like third and like forever, third and twenty-five. We're in a bad situation. We just go four verts. Let's see what's going to happen. Really, we're calling four verts. Let's see if he can scramble around and go make a play for us. Yeah. And they just go. They go straight up pre-line Tampa. And we got Ben Molina from Cedar Hill. He's a running back and. Mm-hmm. He's a check down guy, and everybody's running around. Mike Evans, Ryan Swope, it's Kendrick McNeil, everybody's. In, and uh, we wasted like I'm serious, like a minute thirty on the clock because he's just running around, and we don't we don't get past the line of scrimmage. He's not throwing away. And so, kind of our process was, you'll see how I just slipped my fingers as a quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, but kind of our process was like Cliff would kind of be getting his thoughts together after the series and Johnny would come over to me. I would talk to Johnny and then, so I would kind of hold Johnny and then Cliff would come over and we'd kind of talk about it. And then Johnny would leave me and Cliff would talk a little bit, but I'm talking to Johnny and Cliff's pissed because we're struggling and, and I'm, we're and he hears the back end of our conversation. He's like, Johnny's like, what, what happened? What, what? I was like, and I was like, dude, they, they were pretty line Tampa. I mean, it was, it was a tough situation. I said, he goes, did I, did I have, did I have Molina? I said, yeah, you had been on the check down. You had been on the check down. And he said, I said, it probably would have gone for a while. I don't know if we would have got picked up. But we're, I was like, we're good. We're good. And, and so John, Johnny leaves and Cliff comes over to me. He said, what would you say to him? I said, I just I just told him they were in pre-line Tampa. He had a check down. He goes, hey, don't say that to him. Just let him go freak mode. <laughs> uh, so I, I wrote that down. I was like, freak mode. Just let him go freak mode. 
Uh, oh, so awesome. from, then, from then on out, it's just like you didn't have to tell him to go pre mode, but it's like if he ever came to the sideline and like tried to do too much or like just I'm like, bro, just like just do you and go, just go. Mm. But that was the one thing. He said, just let him go free mode. And I was like, all right, sounds good. I'm gonna write that down. <laughs> wow, that's a legendary quote. Right? Yeah, yeah. Freak, so mode. Go freak mode. Yeah, being Alabama and Tuscaloosa on the road and <sighs> those those are some great great times it was a that was an amazing uh amazing way to break into uh to to coach, yeah. yeah it was it was fun 